This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. I'm Jay Armstrong. I'm the immediate uh, past chair of the Kansas Wheat Commission. I live here in Muscota, Kansas, in northeast, uh, which is in, located in Atchison County, northeast Kansas. We've been very delighted today to have at our farm uh, three Cuban millers uh, that are here uh, being sponsored by the Kansas Wheat Commission. This has been a project that uh, we started 18 months ago with the idea that uh, while many of us had been to uh, Cuba to see their needs, that we needed to bring them here so that they could see how we farm and how we plant and grow our wheat. Uh, some of them are buyers, some of them are, uh, are millers and bakers, and uh, they, uh, they're going to be here uh, for the next three days. We're going to be taking them to the International Grains Program. Uh, there they'll be going through uh, some classes where they'll learn about grain purchasing, uh, milling and baking techniques. We feel that it's time to uh, end the embargo. It hasn't worked and that they have a tremendous uh, market down there for uh, tourists from the, uh, from the United States, which means they need more food. They're 90 miles away. Currently, they're buying their wheat from Canada and France now, and there's really no reason why we shouldn't be selling them our wheat and, and many of our other products. You know, a lot of people don't realize, but the only country in the world that our country won't let you go visit is Cuba. And uh, we just think it's time to uh, get this uh, uh, policy uh, eliminated and by them coming here and us going there, we are finding out that we really have a lot of things in common and likewise that we can be of a benefit to each other in trade. So it's been a delight and they're having a great time and I think it's Kansas Wheat Farmers Commission money uh, really going uh, to a good uh, effort uh, when prices are as low as they are. Next time you see a beautiful field